that's not something I would ever want to be on the internet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have some explaining to do in this video, and I'm going to be addressing some things and answering some questions that you guys probably have for me, so let's get right into this. First, let me give a shout out to my very much appreciated Patreon members. I love you guys so much. I'm so appreciative of all of your support. And if you want to get to know me a little bit better, definitely check out my Patreon, guys. My community is growing over there day by day, and it's, it's very exciting to watch. So definitely check me out on Patreon if you want to get to know me on a more intimate level. How do you guys like my shirt? I love this shirt. I, I think I found this shirt for a reason, to be honest, because... As some of you know, this is something that I will have this year. This is something I'm working for, a Range Rover. And yeah, it just makes me feel good to wear this. So this video is going to be different from my other videos, but I will try my best to get everything out that I want to get out and answer everything that I think you guys have questions about me for. So some of you may have noticed that my two latest YouTube videos have disappeared off of my channel. It's true. I had to delete my two previous YouTube uploads because of a conflict of interest that arose between a studio that I have worked with in the past and me. I will not be mentioning the name of this particular studio in any part of my content moving forward on any platform of mine because I want to avoid any conflict that could arise in the future by mentioning the name of this entity. So I had no idea that the video I uploaded on Monday would cause any issues whatsoever. In that case, I would have never put the energy and time into creating and editing and uploading the video. Because guys, it's not a short task. It takes hours, hours to edit a 15 minute video. I mean, and to make it look watchable. I have never been asked to delete any piece of content of mine. And I can't say that anymore after this. Because, like I said, a particular studio politely asked me to delete a YouTube video of mine because it had allegedly caused problems on their end and that was something that I never wanted to do. I wanted to resolve that issue, so I was willing to delete my videos despite how much time and energy and feedback I was getting on them. I wanted to make the entity happy because that's what you do in business. You know, you don't burn bridges. You don't do anything out of emotion. You do the right thing. So that's what I did. I deleted the past two YouTube videos, and I also made an OnlyFans post about this because I was upset when I had to do it, and I also had to delete a number of OnlyFans posts. I was told that I was breaking rules in a contract that I had signed with this particular entity, and that was also something that I had never intended to do, something that I don't want to ever do, and I wanted to make sure that I resolved the issue as soon as possible. I made sure to delete any piece of content that I've ever mentioned this particular entity slash studio in because I just wanted to make sure that they were happy and that they trust me. Because I'm not trying to expose them or expose anybody for that matter. And I'm also trying to just move forward with myself and kind of show the world that I have so much more to offer than just my adult videos. I had an epiphany moment about two weeks ago. I was on the way to drop off Lucky to the boarding place because I had a shoot that was not this past weekend, but two weeks ago. So right as I dropped Lucky off at the boarding place and was getting ready to head home and then go to the airport to catch my flight, I got a text message reading, hey Richie, the trip has been canceled. There's a snowstorm here. We can't get our other model down here from Northern Minnesota. And I'm just like, okay, you know, that, that's okay. I, was, I really wasn't that upset because I wasn't looking forward to going to Minnesota. It was frigid cold there. It's been 80 degrees here in Arizona, and I just was not really looking forward to it. I was only doing it for the check. And in any time of your life, if you're only ever doing something for a check, you need to check yourself because that is not good for your soul. It will catch up to you. 
Hopefully you'll have a moment like I did, an epiphany where you realize that you need to take action and nothing will change if you don't change what you've been doing and what hasn't been working for you. So that's what I'm doing. But I will say that my epiphany moment happened right when that shoot got canceled. And technically it didn't get canceled, it got rescheduled for this weekend coming up. But I ended up canceling that because I had just gotten back from a shoot. And guys, I'm extremely exhausted mentally, physically, and I'm just not in the right mindset to even be doing that or thinking about doing that right now. So I have pushed back that shoot and... I'm not feeling bad about that in any way, shape, or form because at the end of the day, I am the model. I am who is going to be starring in the video, and I understand that the video is going to be on the internet forever. So it's only right if I'm my best self while performing on that video, or else that's not something I would ever want to be on the internet. So guys, when I say that I'm exhausted, I'm just kind of thrown for a loop right now because with the trip getting canceled... It led me into a different mindset, and I felt this sense of being suspended two weeks ago because I was supposed to be out of town, my dog was in the boarding place. It would make things really difficult if I were to go pick him up because I was already going to a shoot on that following Tuesday. So I hope you guys were following me, but it was a lot that happened this past two weeks. And on top of me getting back from a five-day long shoot, I just have to say that I want to do YouTube. I want to put my energy into YouTube. This is my passion. YouTube is what I saw in my mind when I left college. I didn't see me working in the adult film industry forever. I only ever saw that as a stepping stone. And honestly, I didn't know how far it would get me. I just wanted to see how far I got with it. And I'm at the point now where I'm at a fork in the road. And it's like, do I want to be forced out of the industry? once I can't find any more gigs or I'm too old to work in the industry anymore? Or do I want to leave with my grace and my dignity on my own time? Ding, ding, ding. That's exactly what I want to do. And that's the huge epiphany that I have come to. And I'm just so grateful that I've even had the ability to work in this industry because not everybody can do this. It does take a certain type of person to put up with what I've put up with. <laughs> working with numerous different studios and numerous different representation and agents and producers and all of that. It takes a lot to deal with that. Some people are only in this for the check. I was never in this industry for the check. I always wanted to use it as a way to promote myself, to cross-promote myself, and that's exactly what has happened. And I'm grateful for that, but I'm at the point now where I need to move on with my life. Like I said, I have way more to offer you guys, and I want to show that to you. And I'm really excited for March because I'm working on this huge, huge, huge new surprise. Let's get right into that. So I just wanted to address why my two latest YouTube videos have been deleted, as well as my OF posts that I posted while I was gone. I will never post anything that has to do with this particular studio again. And honestly, guys, I thought the video would be helpful in a way and, and draw traffic to their site, but um, they didn't like it, and I have to respect that. So that's what I'm going to do, and moving forward, I'm never going to mention them again. So guys, please try to refrain from asking me about my experiences with them, because I'm just not going to answer. I don't want to cause any further conflict with this studio. One of those videos that I had to delete was... A Q&A video in which I answered tons of your questions for me and I really enjoyed the feedback on that video. I enjoyed the support that you guys were giving me and I want to redo that video because it just doesn't seem fair that I have to delete that forever. So what I'm asking you guys is to please leave any questions that you've never heard me answer or that you would like me to answer down in the comment section because in my next video I will be answering all of your questions in a new updated Q&A video, and I promise this one will be better. So guys, yes, please leave your questions for me if you have any for me down in the comment section, and also please try to refrain from using any vulgar language in your comments of any kind, because most of the time these comments go to a folder on my end of YouTube where it's called held for review, and a lot of these comments 
are in that folder because of the language and the keywords that certain people use. So just try to make the comments as PC and as metaphorical or symbolic as possible. That's another one of the reasons I refer to the male anatomy as eggplants and stuff like that, just because this is a monetized platform and I don't want to lose any more opportunities from just being considered to be not marketable in any way, shape, or form. Because guys, I have lost one or two sponsorship opportunities because of my past work in the adult film industry. And I will say that's another huge motivator for me to build what I'm building right now. So also please try to avoid questions about the adult film industry because I've talked about that a lot, you know, and I will talk about my experiences just as a whole in this segment of my life that I spent working in the industry, but I won't be referring to any studio in particular. It, you know, most definitely not the studio that reprimanded me. So let me know any of your questions down below. I also want to ask you guys something else. Would you ever be interested in tarot card readings on my channel? I've spent a lot of time watching tarot card readers on YouTube, and there's one in particular that I really enjoy. His name is Minopon Tarot, so check him out if you're interested. But basically what he does is weekly readings for each zodiac sign, so like Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, you know, everything. And he lays out the cards and just does general readings of where your energy is, and his videos help me out a lot, and they really bring me back down to earth. And I was watching one of his videos two nights ago in bed, and I was thinking, wow, I could do this, you know? And I've always been extremely intuitive. So I remembered that when I was in high school, I worked for this lady, and I worked at her farm, and she actually would read my tarot cards to me. And that was the first time that I was ever introduced to tarot cards, and she actually taught me how to do tarot card readings. And then I did a couple different tarot card readings when I was in high school. After lunch, if, or if we were waiting to go to lunch, or waiting for the period to end, I would read the tarot cards of whoever was sitting next to me, if they wanted them read, of course. And it would always shock them how much things resonated with their lives. So that's something that I do kind of want to get back into, and... I see that being successful for me and I see it being enjoyable and I think I could bring something different to the table because out of all of the different tarot card readers on YouTube, I haven't seen anybody that looks like me or talks like me or is in my age group. So I think it would be a refreshing and um, just cool new addition to my YouTube channel. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. If you're not interested in that, let me know that too. But also, if I were to do it, I would probably start a separate YouTube channel so I wouldn't mix up my podcast videos like this on this channel. So I know it's a lot to think about, but um, please let me know what you guys think about that. So I wanted to say something else, guys. As you may know, for the past month and a half, or two months, I've mentioned here and there that I'm working on something huge. And I don't want to give out any of my secrets or jinx anything, but guys, I'm working on a huge platform right now that is just going to send me to where I want to go. And I've always been a businessman. I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. And I've said that in past videos. And it's time for me to finally give you guys something that you can hold. Something that I created. Something that I put my energy into for you to enjoy. And I do sell paintings now, which will be included on this platform. And the platform basically is going to be an online store. So I will be starting an online store where I will be selling merchandise, paintings of mine, because I do create artwork, and other fun stuff like that. So I don't want to give too much. I'm still working on a launch date, but next month is definitely going to be the start of something big. So I can't wait to bring you guys along on this journey. I'm also really excited to have products that you can buy. I know I'm being very broad, guys, but I now know that there are people that watch me and don't want me to succeed. And, you know, people that watch me and, and relay certain messages about me to other people or gossip about me. And I understand that, but it's just something that I wasn't thinking about before this situation happened regarding my two videos being deleted. 
So I will say that I'm more knowledgeable about who's watching me on here because I used to think that just everybody was a supporter, but that's not realistic and I'm not sure why I was thinking that. And I know that the bigger you get, the more haters you get. And I just have to be prepared for that. And I am. So if you're watching me out there, hi, haters. <laughs> hi, I know you are. I know you are. So um, I hope you're enjoying this video. So yes, it's time for me to give my supporters something that they can feel, something they can touch. And I hope you guys are excited for that because I'm super excited. I will be giving updates in my upcoming videos about how the process is going. And next week, I will be posting the launch date of my website. So, oh, I'm so excited, guys. Like, I, I've never been this happy and excited for my future. Even when I got into college, well, no. Even when I got into college, I did not see so much magic in the air like I do now. Like, I have inspiration flowing through my veins right now, and I feel it. I've been hopping out of bed every morning. It's been a little difficult having to delete my content, but like I said, I don't want to cause any more issues. I really don't even want to be connected to the adult film industry anymore, but I realize that I am connected and it's what I've built. At the same time, the adult film industry is only ever going to be that. It's all, that's, all, that's the top. That's where it is. Me, on the other hand, I have infinite potential. And I've realized that, and I'm living that, and that's the air I'm breathing, the food I'm eating, just the thoughts I'm thinking. So I want to assure to you guys that I am doing just fine. I am doing just fine. I am feeling excited for the future, motivated, independent, powerful, confident, and I hope you guys are feeling some of those as well. So don't forget to leave your questions for me down below in the comment section because I will be making that Q&A video. And um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave any other questions or comments or concerns down below in the comment section and I will try to address them in a timely manner. Thanks so much for watching guys and thank you for your understanding. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!